Welcome to another quarantine vlog. Um, you guys were all so sweet and the general consensus was for me to keep um, showing you guys my everyday quarantine life. Um, so I got both of my Sephora orders in. Uh, first of all, before that, I hope you're all still safe and doing well. Um, since I last talked to you guys, I'm trying to think. I think there has been updates. Our governor in Georgia, um, I'll, I won't get political, but he made some crazy decisions that restaurants should open on Monday, today's Thursday. Um, we're definitely not opening as are most of the restaurants. I don't know one restaurant that is opening on Monday. Um, it's wild, <laughs> but it's been a little bit of, it, it's, this is literally like crisis management 101. I'm sure a lot of you guys are also dealing with it. Um, but I remember I had a class in my MBA that was like crisis response. It was um, during the summer, so it was like a short class. And I remember being like, oh my God, like, this is so crazy. Like we will never have to do crisis management, like, or this is like, maybe I won't ever use this. And I'm like, I'm using it so much because it's crazy. Uh, but I got my Sephora order in, like I said, um, it is about 12, 18. I've literally been in this same spot since nine o'clock this morning. Um, I am going to go take a walk, uh, make some calls while I get some steps in. And then after I'll come back, make lunch and, um, I need to like wash my hair and a bunch of other stuff like that. <laughs> so, but I'll take you guys a little bit on my walk to show you, um, the really pretty park that's near my condo. And yeah, just wanted to get out a bit today. Um, I didn't go on a walk yesterday because, um, I actually ended up going to Target, uh, because I heard that they had paper towels and I was running really low. I will go on my go on a little walk. <sighs> I got ran out of breath. Okay guys, so I'm back on my walk. I like walked for about an hour. Um, was really good. And now I'm making lunch. I'm using these I showed you guys in my last vlog. They're the Trader Joe's premium salmon burgers. They're really good cooking that up there and then I'm cooking up some Brussels sprouts I'm gonna add some artichokes and I think that's what I'm gonna have just that so I'm keeping it real with y'all this is the status of my closet makeup room which I don't use it's literally where I hoard everything but my plan is to organize it somehow and over here I have all like my purses and shoes. Um, I ordered finally these bookshelves that arrive tomorrow. So I need to like organize everything. And um, what I think I'm going to do is put it here. So yeah, I'll do a bookshelf here. This I need to give away. It's broken. Or not broken, but I just don't want it. So... I need to move that around. I'm just organizing, like I have like recycle here. I have stuff I need to list for Poshmark. Um, but I did get this new, this makeup mirror. I'll link it down below. I'll show you guys um, and do my makeup here at some point, uh, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, and I'll show you um, what I've been using and all of that. Uh, this also, I want to put away in my storage unit. I'm not using it. Uh, my desk is Amazon or my vanity, but, as of right now, I'm trying to clean this bookcase because I'm over it all and I want it out. Good morning. It is Friday. Um, I didn't really finish vlogging yesterday. I actually ended up um, getting a really bad migraine. I'm not sure what it was, um, but I after I like came home and from my walk and made lunch, um, I still obviously had a lot of work to do, so I did that in around four. I started getting a really bad migraine and the migraine medicine I have has caffeine. So I didn't want to take it. So I just like, you know, took my contacts off and tried to lay down for a bit. And it actually went away like by like 9 p.m. But it was really weird. 
and I talked to my sister Stephanie and she was like, oh, that's weird. I also had a migraine today. I don't know what it could be. Hopefully we're all okay, but I, I'm pretty sure it's fine. I feel great today. Um, it's about 10, um, just had my morning calls with my team and I have another one in about an hour. I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Sephora and a few other things around the house and we'll go from there. Manic Friday. Um, I also like blow dried my hair straight yesterday and this is how I woke up. <laughs> well, I did brush my hair and put some dry shampoo, but um, I just am getting um, my Billy razor packs or like the the refills. I really, really like the, the razor. Um, I know that it has a lot of hype around it, but I personally think that it is actually worth it. Um, I, I really like the Billy razor. So I will link my, um, the referral code that I have for Billy down below. And then I keep getting these census things. I guess I have to answer. <laughs> I don't know what the, like, I don't, can't remember the last, I guess the last census. When was that? 2010? I just graduated college. Okay, well, I'm going to try to respond to this and be a good American citizen. So I'm still sitting here. Um, it is three o'clock. Oh my God, my hair. <laughs> um, I'm done with at least my calls and meetings. I've been working on things. We had to like release some statements today because um, I think I told you in this video before, but our governor, had said that you can start opening restaurants starting Monday, but that's not gonna happen for many reasons. <laughs> Most of all that it's way too soon and we don't want, you know, it's not safe. Um, but we had to release some statements, get that approved. Um, just did all of that, working on a few other projects. Um, I'm drinking the Trader Joe's detox tea. I'm obsessed. You guys need to get that next time you go to Trader Joe's. I have, last time I went, I bought two boxes. So that's why I didn't get it within like my latest haul that I showed you guys. Um, from a, from Sunday, was that Sunday? I don't even remember. Um, but yeah, so drinking this, um, I think what I'm gonna do is do a quick workout. Not really, it's not even a workout, it's 10 minutes. But um, my favorite Peloton instructor, his name is Maddie. Um, I'll link his name down below because his last name is like really hard to pronounce. It's like Maddie Mia, Maddie Maggiannino or something like that. I don't know. It's Italian. Um, but um, he's been doing a challenge where you do one of his core classes every day for 21 days. I've been doing it. This is like the fifth day, I think. Um, but I'm just like, he just like is going back in his class schedules that he, or back in his classes that he's posted that are the core minute, the core 10 minute workouts. Um, so I'm going to do that. Um, hopefully I'll have time to do a walk later with my mom. I am going to head back to my parents tonight and yeah. So, um, I wanted to show you guys, I will show my Sephora haul today or in this vlog, but I also just ordered these on Amazon and they arrived in two days. Uh, I take elderberry gummies every day and mine were running out for the longest time. Amazon and Target and everything was sold out. So I did buy these. They're the uh, premium elderberry gummies and they taste really good. And I feel like they do help with like boosting your immune system. So I will link these down below so that you guys can check them out. And let me just get to work. Um, I'll show you guys my little quick workout or just like how I'm doing it. I have my Apple TV connected to my um, living room. So I have, um, I'll like put my Peloton app on my laptop and project to my Apple TV. If you don't have the Peloton app, um, my parents have the Peloton tread and the Peloton and I always do the, the tread when I'm at their house. Um, but with that, I have my own account. So I have like access to all of these classes. So um, I do them when I'm at my house too. Um, and so you go to like the Peloton app, they are offering 90 days free trial. So you guys should check it out if you haven't because during this time where gyms are closed and stuff, and um, you know, you can get access to some workouts and they have a lot of great classes that don't require uh, weights or anything. 
So here I go to Maddie. This is his last name, Maddie Magia Como. There, it's not that hard. <laughs> and then length, ten minutes. Show twenty-one classes. So I will be doing, I believe, it's this one. Yeah. So let's do it. The focus today is going to be all supine Have my yoga mat. exercises. I know that's a let's fancy see. way of saying lying on your back. Just sent us a message that, let's see, can let me see if I can share the link with him. Okay. Um, sorry. Well, we, you know what? <laughs> I, I told Sophie and it's happened the last few times. We, we had a change in our daily meetings that we're doing and yeah. it's at 1130 now. So it's, been running over um oh it's no problem i'm just messing with you <laughs> and if you need to move our meeting back um if you if we want to move it you know to, yeah uh, maybe or something we okay can do that. It's, it's fine by me okay maybe i'll talk to sophie um to make yeah. sure that we can let me know what works hey, Pam and Nico, i think that might be a good idea just in my opinion from yeah. kind of like user experience perspective i could totally see clients getting lost and not really wanting to scroll any further down. Right. Yeah. I think, um, and I know we, we discussed this, um, in our last call, but I think that we're just, I think they have their own. Yeah. I think it's like they're catering and, um, yeah, right. they have their own like right. trucks and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm in my room. Um, my empty room that I actually cleaned up a lot since you last saw it. I'll do a quick overview once I'm done. Um, but I'm waiting on a brand new, shelving unit that will go back here um that will uh, host my bags and shoes hopefully and then i really want to work on making this my makeup room i need to like actually put a light up there um because i've just lived without a makeup room or lived without my vanity ever since i moved back to or ever since i bought my house and moved here i've just been doing my makeup in the bathroom and Honestly, it works, but it's still like really fun and something that I like to do is have a vanity, have everything organized. And that's um, just something that I ha have the ability to do because I have a spare bedroom. It takes time, obviously. Um, I have my makeup in here because I think I said I'm, I'm going to my parents. Um, I have my makeup, my makeup brushes in here and here. These are Henry Bendel. Boohoo, no longer, no longer exist, but I love those makeup bags and sorry I'm touching my hair so much. I just don't, I lost, I left my curler in Charlotte when I went like last month and it, my hair is just like all over the place. Yeah, just do that. <laughs> Let my hair down. Um, I wanted to just run through um, very quickly a little makeup, like very, very easy makeup look. And I will just use some of the products, which is, I think I literally just going to use one product that I got at the Sephora sale. Everything else is like masks and skincare and other things um, and stuff that I already kind of talked to you guys about a lot of it in my last video. Um, so the first thing I want to use, um, actually the, the primer that I want to use is the primer that I showed you guys last time um, that I recently picked up. Why is the camera moving so much? But it is the Tula face filter blurring and moisturizing primer. I just have um, moisturizer on right now. So um, I did my workout and I showered. Um, I had a call, multiple calls. So I'm sorry, I keep getting 1 million text messages. Okay. I actually like love this primer. I'm obsessed. Um, highly, highly recommend it. Obviously, it's not part of the Sephora sale, or they don't carry it at Sephora. But you can get you can get it at Ulta and Nordstrom, or like directly on the Tula website. So I like that. Um, I also have this Becca Under Eye Primer that I use. I think I already put it on. Actually, I think I did, but I'll just reapply it just to for shits and giggles. So this is the Eborian CC Red Correct. Um, it has SPF 25. Um, it's the tiniest thing ever. I didn't realize that it was this small, but um, this is tiny, but let's try it and see how things go. 
So it's not a foundation, which that's what I was like confused about. I don't know if maybe me putting the other primer already on, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, it actually looks good. I have redness there, so let's see how it does. And I'm putting it on with my hands. That actually looks pretty good, guys. It's literally, I might order the big size and keep this for a travel. Oh, I really like it. It made a difference, right? How crazy. It's like not foundation. Well, that looks really good. Wow, I'm like really impressed. So I like this, I might order the big size cause I don't know what I did ordering this tiny little thing. Um, so there's that. And then I think I've talked to you guys about this quickly in my last video. Um, but for eyebrows, I've been really liking this Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows. I have her eyebrow pencil, but honestly this, I haven't really been filling in my eyebrows. I've just been using that. I think that's the the best so there you go um oh my god literally I swear no one texted me all day and now as soon as I sit down to film something I literally have like 45 text messages okay so this one is it's kind of like the benefit like um gimme brow or something like that so this just fills in your eyebrows very very nicely and naturally I love this. Charlotte Tilbury really can do no wrong, in my opinion. Um, the only things that I, I think um, are not really worth it are, I mean, her skincare is, it's not that I don't like it. I just feel like it's not worth the price. Um, I think it's pretty pricey for something that you can probably get better, you know, stuff with like Drunk Elephant and pharmacy and that type of stuff. Um, I was trying to do this like left-handed, but I'm not ambidextrous. So I think I don't really like her skincare and then I don't love, I didn't love, I didn't like the Magic Away concealer. I just felt like it was whatever. It was fine. That CC cream, I'm blown away. I'm blow, I'm all, like, I'm not kidding. It looks so good. It looks like I have foundation on. What? How weird. Okay. So I just fill in my eyebrows like like so. Um, I'm not doing anything, so I'm not gonna like set my brows or anything, but I use the Anastasia Brow Setting Gel and her other, you know, eyebrow pencil if, if need be. Um, I talked to this, I talked about this with you guys also. Um, it is the Charlotte Tilbury, um, this is called the Magic, no, the corrector, whatever, the corrector. I'll link it down below. I use the lightest shade, which is fair. Um, and I just use it under the eyes and I feel like it really does an amazing job of covering and highlighting your under eye. So there you go. I mean, just with those three products or four products, my skin completely like changed. I look I don't know, is, is it just me or it's like, <laughs> I'm just looking at myself in the mirror. It looks so much better. I still have obviously this little redness here that it's just, I don't know really what it is until I get to get, until I'm able to go back and see my facialist. I don't know, um, I don't wanna mess with it too much or cause an even like larger reaction. I'm not sure what it is. It's more of like a little um, redness kind of. And I, I have a little bit of hormonal stuff going going on down here. So I'm going to cover that just very little with my Georgie, George, <laughs> guys, I've been on calls all day. Okay, jo Giorgio Armani <laughs> Power Fabric Concealer in 3.5. So, oh, do I need to order another one of these? I'm just gonna do that because I think honestly my, that corrector, highlights your eyes enough where you don't really need concealer on top honestly yeah I think it looks good 
So use the black beauty blender. The beauty blenders have been reformulated and I hate it, but if you guys have a rec for another beauty sponge that you like, let me know because I'm just over the beauty blender. It like has a d way different consistency than it used to. So there's that guys. Um, this goes back in there. I'm not gonna use this right now. What am I doing, what am I doing, what am I doing? Um, I haven't even used any brushes. Oh my Lord. I have a lurk text, let me come back. I had to just respond to my coworker. Um, this thing guys is so old. It's like, I think two years old or not two years old, like a year and a half old. And I love it. It's by Smashbox, but I did show you guys in my last video the a benefit one I just bought that I love. The only thing about that one, and I need to get a, a like a yellow under eye powder, is that it doesn't have this yellow setting powder. So I need to get that. I need to remember. I need to order that. I'll order that today after I order that CC cream at full price. What the or the full size? It's amazing. Um, but I really like this under eye setting powder. It's just a Smashbox like yellow one and I just use that under my eyes. Love, 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 love. Um, for uh, bronzer and contour, this is usually what I do with mascara for like, you know, a, a casual day. I, I, what I was doing at first with all my Zoom calls, now I'm just like, whatever, no makeup. Um, it's the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand, but I will show you just like how a little goes a long way because I think it, this can be scary, but I, I honestly love it. And I find that Charlotte Tilbury is like so easy to use and I love her stuff. Um, but I do, do, do I do use the beauty blender and here I just kind of like try to go up where this, the sun would naturally hit on your skin so i'm just gonna like go there i'll do the chin or the jawline there we go and then here i just kind of like make sure you like buff up a bit like and the see just kind of defines your cheekbone a bit and i use very little like if i'm going all out doing glam obviously i use a lot more but for that, it's just looks a lot better, like a lot more natural. And it just kind of gives you some sort of definition on your face, which is definitely needed sometimes. Um, for bronzer, I'm just gonna use a bit of the Becca Capri Coast bronzer. I'm not sure if they still carry this. They should, um, but I love this a lot and I'm just gonna use a tiny bit. I have this big hourglass brush that I use to like blend everything. Alrighty. So that's pretty much it guys. Um, I'm not gonna powder. I've been using the Glossier Wouter, which um, that's, that, that's my general consensus on Glossier in general. It's just like, mm, mm. But I'm gonna use it. It's not bad, but it's not anything like, oh my God, groundbreaking. Um, but I wanted to try something over the Laura Mercier and I went with that. So, so it is. Um, since I just wanna feel a little snatched, I'm going to contour a bit with the little contour powder that's in here. If I do find this, I will definitely link it, but I, do, I don't think they have it anymore. It's the Cali Contour Palette. Um, we'll see. A little better. Okay. So this goes back in there. This goes back in here. All of these go back in there. And I'm gonna do a little bit of blush. Um, I have this, but I'm not gonna use it. The Bobbi Brown Foundation I have been liking. Some of you asked me um, if I have been enjoying it, and I have. I would just say if you have um, dry skin to not have it, to not try it. But if you have oily or combo, it's actually really nice. Put a bit of blush on. So I'm just gonna use the same one. I'm gonna just do this blush um, that comes in the palette just to 
It's actually a really nice blush. There we go. Goes back. Oh, I need to do my mascara. And then for my mascara, I did the, um, I have the Lancome Monsieur Big, which I bought a uh, backup of during the sale. I bought this one. I do feel like, I, I mean, I love, love, love this mascara. I do feel that it can dry out quickly, uh, but it's worth it. It's a really, really good mascara. It's my favorite one. Um, I think I, I have mentioned this before. I mean, if you guys followed me for a while, I swore for like four years the combo of the Dior um, primer the Dior like eyelash primer and the Chanel Le Volume mascara. And I like would live and breathe and die for those two products. But um, another really good one is the Hourglass Caution, but I do like this one better, uh, honestly. It's so great. So there you go, that's my face. Very easy, it usually doesn't take that long, but because I was talking to you guys, it took a bit more of time. And then I wanted just to end up, end up. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. I wanted to, <laughs> uh, this is the Bobbi Brown crushed oil infused gloss in, um, in the buff. It's fab. I love this formula. I bought this like, I think like, I think maybe like, the week before quarantine, I went into Sephora and I got, I don't even remember what I bought, but I bought that and I was like, this is really good. So kind of see, I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Okay. So let's move on to the Sephora sale. I have my Sephora order. I'll run through it quickly and just show you guys. Cause honestly, a lot of it I haven't tried. So I'm not sure if I could like fully recommended or not, but I will go through first my repurchases. Whew, I ran out of breath. <laughs> oh, I know what I, my wall unit arrived or like the, the bookshelf, uh, but I'm not gonna build it. I need to wait for someone else to help me because I can't do that. I can't do that stuff. Shiseido cotton pads. This is probably my 40th time I've ever bought these. They last forever. It comes with like 180, 165 sheets. I use one a day, you do the math, two a day maybe, sometimes not at all, like re really in this time I haven't been using a lot of makeup remover, so love these, get it during the sale, worth it. Um, another repurchase is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. This serum, this is I believe my fourth time I rebuy it, I started using it uh, last year. So yeah, I probably buy two of these a year, which is not that bad. The price point is really, really, really good for the product and for the results. Um, you, I, I feel like I instantly see a change in my skin overnight every time I use this product and I do use it, I would say probably five times a week. Um, for me, it's not too abrasive. Um, I don't really have that sensitive of skin though, but I just highly recommend it. I think everyone that tries Honeymoon Glow loves it. Size is good. You know, I believe without the sale, it's around $58. But if you're gonna get it with, even if you're just a VIB, it's worth it, you know, to get the, the, the price of it. And it also looks pretty. Um, I talked about this before, but I do like their honeymoon oil or it's just, just like the honey oil. And I have another thing that I ordered from the same line. So let's see if I like it. Um, what else did we purchase? The Monsieur Big. It's this Monsieur Big Lancome Mascara um, in the black shade. And then what else is a repurchase? This is kind of a repurchase. I only tried the like little sample size. It's the like leave-in conditioner detangler from Briogeo. I use the Briogeo um, shampoo, which is like their scalp one I love, and their hydrating mask. And then I've just switched to this. I used to use the Way one, um, but the Way one is, I don't know. I just wanted to switch things up. Uh, I don't feel like it's that nourishing. I, I love the scent of the Way one, but I love the scent. And the, this is really nourishing because this is um, Rosarco milk 
And again, I mean, I think mostly with all Sephora products, no or hair products, no sulfates, silicones, or parabens. So, and then all of the, oh, this is a repurchase, but it, um, the form or like the, pa the packaging changed. So hopefully they didn't change the formula because I love it, but this is a hyaluronic acid serum from Moon Juice and I actually like the, the packaging now more. It's a plump jelly. Uh, I really loved this product when I used it. I ran out of it last year and I don't know why I didn't repurchase it. I think I was just trying to like be good. <laughs> um, but I I like it. Moon Juice is kind of like that hippy dippy brand, but I love this product. Um, it's an instant quench for plumped up skin. Hyaluronic acid and adaptogenic reishi help protect from, help protect from and minimize the stains of infl inflammation. Huh? while locking in hydration and bounce. I do know that whenever I use this, my skin, like it feels like it bounces cause it's so hydrated and feels so like amazing. Really good. They're the Peter Thomas Roth Hyaluronic Eye Patches. I love these. Um, I have been, I have the cucumber ones also and I like these. I feel like these are more hydrating than those. Um, and these last forever because it has so many in here. I believe it's 50. Oh, it's no, hold on. Th 30 pairs. Yeah. So it's all. So recommend those. I really, really like them. Um, all new products now. So these are the Tan Lux, the face illuminating self tan drops. I've never tried them, but I'm excited to try it. I've heard really, really good things. You mix this into your serum or moisturizer or whatever it might be. Next up is the Way North Bondi Eau de Parfum. It smells so good. I'm obsessed. I am, ooh, I, I smelled this in store a long time ago and I don't know why I never got it because it's not very pricey or anything, but it smells so good. It has a little, it's just so aesthetically pleasing too. I just, it's silly that we think about those things, but it makes such a big difference too. I just love looking at nice things on my vanity and like in my bathroom and all of that. Um, this is the other pharmacy product that I'm trying. It's the Honey Butter Body Cream. Uh, we'll see how I like it. I've never tried it. It smells good. I smelled it earlier. Yeah, it smells really, really good. So hopefully I like it. Uh, and then the last two things that I have ordered um, ha are two different masks. One is the Yerba Matte Resurfacing Energy Facial by Youth to the People. Um, one of the bloggers that I follow that I really like, um, she is... Um, she lives in Charleston and she does post a lot of recipes and a lot of good like uh, fashion and skincare recs. And I think it's hard to find like bloggers that you're like are posting kind of different things. Um, she's a little bit older. So I feel like I, I like following that type of more mature blogger. Um, her name is Natalie and I'll link her Instagram down below. Um, she's Snoop Natty Nat. Um, and I've followed her for years. I love her recipes and she's always really responsive on DMs and stuff like that. So I, I trust her recommendations and she posted about this and how good it was. So I will report back on how it is. I think I want to take it and try it out maybe tonight. At least the Tata Harper clarifying mask. This was, I kind of was like, oh, I don't want to pay for this because it's expensive, but I've heard like nothing but amazing things. It has really good reviews. It's their uh, mask clarifant. It's their clarifying mask. And I mean, we will see. Um, it's supposed to promise all these amazing things. So let's see if, if it works, we'll see which one I try out first, but, um, I'm going to end the vlog guys, uh, because I want to post this and also, um, just share, cause a lot of people ask me to share like what I actually bought from the Sephora sale. So, um, I will post this. I hope you are all, um, doing good and I hope you all have a good weekend and yeah, just stay in touch. Um, leave me some comments down below and I'll talk to you guys another day. Bye.